A group of Purdue Fort Wayne students spend part of the summer surrounded by world famous works of the Italian Renaissance. And through their inspiration, they created pieces of their own, bringing back the art of Florence to 21 country. It's sort of a pilgrimage for artists. We took a two-week trip to Florence, Italy as part of a course called the Art of Florence. And so students had the chance to study and work and draw directly from uh, works of art in Florence. We also went to Rome and other cities such as Siena and Lucca, uh, which are nearby. I promised myself um, at least sometime in these four years I was going to study abroad. I mostly stuck with pen throughout most of this trip. I like a figure because it's very smooth and it, you can capture the energy and that's what I'm, I'm really good at. I did this watercolor here, the one in the middle. It was um, of the, at the Boboli Gardens in Italy and it's a view of Florence. It was very surreal to just be sitting in Italy on the countryside, painting a landscape, it was, it was really amazing. Artistically, um, I think that's, it really helped me to know that I can just do a lot more than I thought I could. It's pretty intense. They're drawing three to six hours a day. You kind of relive your first experience uh, vicariously through the students' first time experiences. There was just many, there's many places and works that really kind of left students kind of kind of stunned uh, just by their, their beauty and just the scale and the, the immensity and the power of the works. Uh, I did a, about a three week um, stay in Sicily and I created a lot of um, drawings and prints like monotype and dry point prints while I was in Sicily. As a teacher I become more inspired when I make my own work and I can kind of see how it changes and improves and I learn new things that I can also teach new things to students as well the more work that I make. As an artist, you criticize your own work and you don't think it's a whole bunch to look at, but feeling inspired and knowing that other people are going to appreciate it um, as much as you do, it um, feels very rewarding and also very humbling. It's more than just the, the few famous statues that you might know. There's so much architecture, there's so many landscapes, there's so many figures, there's just such a wide variety to Italian Renaissance art. To see them kind of take the knowledge that they learned during their classwork and apply it abroad uh, to go on site and work directly from these works of art, it's like everything kind of comes to fruition and they can take all that knowledge that they have and really utilize it and build on it. And just the fact that they're studying and looking at these artworks makes them better artists. Wow, what a place to study, huh? No kidding. Yeah. Uh, more than 90 pieces the students created are on display and open to the public at Purdue Fort Wayne's Visual Arts Gallery. The exhibit runs through September 5th, and you can find more information on the art of Florence on our website, WPTA21.com.